Welcome to Patricia Fripp's 10 Traps, How to Go from Dull to Dynamic. Whenever you open your mouth, whether your audience is one person or a thousand, you usually want to get across a specific message. Maybe you want your opinions heard at meetings, or you're giving a formal talk. Or perhaps you're in a position to advise your sales team or CEO on how to deliver an important presentation. Everyone who sets out to present, persuade and propel with the spoken word faces 10 major pitfalls. One, unclear thinking. If you can't describe what you're talking about in one sentence, you may be guilty of fuzzy focus or trying to cover too many topics. Your listeners won't understand what you're saying. Two, no clear structure. You have to make it easier for your audience to follow what you're saying. They'll remember better, and so will you, when you present your information ideas in a logical, logical structure. If you waffle, ramble, or never get to the point, you're going to lose your listeners. Three, no memorable stories. People rarely remember your exact words. Instead, they remember the mental images, the pictures that your words capture. Support your key points with vivid, relevant stories and examples. Help the audience make the movie in their minds by using memorable characters, exciting situations, dialogue, suspense, and perhaps appropriate humor. Four, no emotional connection. The most powerful communication combines both intellectual and emotional connection. Intellectual connection means appealing to the educated self-interest with facts and reasoning and arguments. Emotional connection comes from engaging the listeners' imaginations, involving them in your stories, and by the frequent use of the word you rather than I. We always have to answer the unspoken question, what's in it for me? Five, wrong level of abstraction. Are you providing the big picture and generalities when your listeners are hungry for details, facts and specific how-tos? Or are you drowning them in data when they need a broad overview? Get on the same wavelength with your listeners and speak at the right level of abstraction for your audience. Six, no pauses. Good music and good communication both contain changes of pacing, pausing and full rests. When you pause, your audience actually has the chance to digest what they heard and you get the chance to think what comes next. You actually draw people closer to you on the pause. Seven, irritating non-words. The er, ah, uh, you know, um, uh, you know what I mean? Record yourself and check the number of times you look unsure and not confident and your audience is being driven crazy. Start listening to other people and you don't want to sound like that. Eight, stepping on the impact phrases. The most important words or phrase are at the end of a sentence. In comedy, it's called the punch word or the punch phrase. In business communication, you might want to think of it as the impact phrase. And it usually comes at the end of the sentence. If you add right, see, okay, or today at the end of a sentence, you just killed your impact. Nine. Not having a strong opening and closing. Engage your audience immediately with a powerful, relevant opening. 
grab them. This is the flavor of what they can expect for the entire presentation. Then certainly handle questions, but don't close on questions. Ask for an appropriate challenge. Then deliver a dynamic close. And remember, your last words linger. Make sure they're powerful. 10. Misusing technology. Timid speakers who simply read off their PowerPoint are boring and ineffective. You want to be a star. Your PowerPoint is a valuable tool. It's not a crutch. What you do is design your message and then ask yourself, where do I need the visual aids to enhance my message, not distract? When you avoid these 10 common traps, it's the first step in changing dull, boring presentations into dynamic, powerful, persuasive communication. This is Patricia Fripp, the executive speech coach. My role is to build leaders and transform sales teams through more effective speaking and presentation skills. Consider this your public speaking service announcement. Thank you.